This is Recruitment Agency Ignition with Andy Whitehead. Helping you build your recruitment employment business fast. Fast, fast. Using digital and automation and one to many systems, tools, and inbound strategies. Hey there, it's Andy Whitehead again. How are you doing? So, today we are going to talk about something I've discussed many times over the years now. Um, the Recruitment Parthenon. So what is that? If you want to um, close your eyes for one second. So, look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Close your eyes. And if you remember, the beautiful white buildings. Go back to the days in Greece with the beautiful white pillars. We want to think of a Parthenon. That's what we're thinking about. These beautiful pillars holding up this amazing building. Now your business, your recruitment agency, should be a Parthenon. So many times I, um, I see a recruitment agency, right, what's your process to bring on leads or to bring on board candidates or to bring on board um, your growth activities? Well, we, um, we, we use LinkedIn and uh, an email blast and of course use telephone. Okay, you do those two, two key things. What else? And they come out a few bits and pieces, but essentially you've got a business there that's built on quicksand. It's like, it's like a table with two legs. It's going to fall over at some point. So you want to build up a path on your business. You, want, you don't want to be dependent on one or two pillars to grow your business. You want to be, to be dependent on many. So you'll hear me on other podcasts and on our webinars and our talks. We talk about your business having different processes to bring in leads, different systems, different automation strategies, etc, etc, etc. So if you can picture your agency across the next 12 months, and if you can imagine each month you're going to add a new pillar to the business, a new pillar to bring on board new clients, or a new pillar to bring on board new candidates, or a new pillar that automates the engagement and nurturing of existing clients and candidates, or a new pillar, fill in the blank. But you add one a month for 12 months. At the end of that 12 month period, you've now got a Parthenon. So say for example, one of your lead generation strategies is, well, we, um, we use LinkedIn Recruiter. And uh, it's pretty good. But let's imagine in 12 months that the price 5 x or whatever it might be. Um, or you use another channel, another social media channel, and something happens, your account gets closed down. Your Facebook group gets shut down for whatever reason. You've lost one of your key channels. Now, if you've got a Parthenon in place, where you've got multiple channels, the table isn't going to fall over. You haven't got two legs, you've got 11 legs left. You've got something that can be replicated, something that can be scaled. But what it does, it adds, adds a, um, a comfort to your business. When you know you've got multiple channels bringing in leads, when you've got multiple channels bringing in candidates. So I really want you to think about your your business as a Parthenon. So how can you spec this out? Well think about what you're doing right now. What are you doing to bring on board clients? What are you doing on, to bring on board candidates now? So you'll hear me say this over and over again. It's really simple. Everything we do is based on a premise of two steps. The first step is whatever strategy you use, get it converting. Get it converting to a really high level. So we talk about when we have a if we use webinars, for example, we, we want to get 40% plus um, conversion from the very first webinar. We want to get that, those sort of figures from the very first one. We want to get those of so 100 people come to your webinar, we want 40 them saying, yeah, tell me more. Tell me more about your business, say more about the session, say more about what you do, etc., etc., etc. So we want to be doing that right from the get-go. So if we had that process and say that it got to, it was... We did it, or a client did it, and it was at five percent. You're not going to scale that process, are you? Now, say it was it was converting at fifty, sixty, seventy percent. What would you do? You put ten times more clients through that funnel, wouldn't you? So rather than having fifty, sixty, you have five hundred, six hundred. Same with candidates. So it breaks down to two really simple steps: conversion comes first, and then you scale. In fact, you scale the living hell out of it, and that's where the growth comes from. It, none of this is rocket science. It's pretty simple, but it very much comes from strategies, implementation, 
um, that we run in our, in our own business and our clients run in their own business in their own business rather but it breaks down to two elements each pillar in your business if it's not converting then why are you going to scale it if you've got consultants in your business who are not bringing on board new business if they're not bringing on board right candidates why would you try and get two or three other consultants on board? Why would you scale that strategy in your business? One of our clients came to us and said he's had his best quarter ever and he wants to bring on board two new consultants. We looked at his business. Why bring them on board? Bring them on board? Well, it's what my mentor tells me to do. Okay, what, what are they actually going to do? Um, well, they'll probably do what they're doing now. Okay, so you, you've got a process now that's bringing in leads. So each time you run through the Maven webinar, you'll get 10 to 15 new leads from that process. But you actually want to go and have your consultants and you can sort of come on board and then hit LinkedIn and hit the phones because that's the done thing in recruitment. Surely the most logical thing is to do if you're getting 10 15 leads from a Maven webinar, let's 10x the traffic going through that. So instead of 10 15, you get 100 to 150 leads coming in. Then you can have a consultant take the lead, follow through on the lead rather than come into the business and do what quote traditional recruitment does. So you want to find a process, each pillar in your business, whatever the pillar is to bring on board new leads, to bring on board new candidates, whatever the pillar is, get it converting first. Once it converts, scale the living hell out of it. So we've got literally hundred, well, about 120, 25 strategies that we use with our clients. And they come and join us and they look inside our, our VIP members vault and there's literally hundreds. There's, um, all manner of strategies, tools, step-by-step -step instructions, and we show you how to do this, and they get almost overwhelmed. But here's the thing, you don't need 100 plus strategies. I've seen businesses go from 100K a year to 500K in six months by applying just two or three strategies. You don't need hundreds of them. You need to get one or two, get them converting, then you scale. And then you can think about additional pillars. But it's important, whatever you do in your business, get the first pillar converting, then scale it. Next, next pillar, get it converting, scale. Now, you might remember from a previous podcast where I, I talk about breaking your year into 90-day sprints. You can add the, the pillars into your 90-day sprints. But it's really simple. Get the process converting, then scale the living hell out of it. So with that said, grab a piece of pen and paper and literally draw, draw out 10, 12 pillars. What pillars do you need in your business to, to bring on board leads? What pillars do you need in your business to bring on board candidates? What pillars do you need in your business to operationally grow? What pillars do you need in your business, which means you can remove your time from the business. So instead of working 80 hours a week, you can work 40 hours or 30 hours or 20 hours, whatever your outcome is. What pillars do you need in your business? Implement one at a time, get it converting, then scale it. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up the call and I will speak to you guys soon. Um, as always, you can contact us at recruitmentmarketinginternational.com or recruitmentagencyignition.com or just hook up with me on LinkedIn and uh, it would be cool to catch up. So with that said, take care, speak to you soon, go and make it happen. Discover how to build your recruitment employment agency using one to many automation and inbound strategies before anyone else in your market specialization. Check out RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com RecruitmentAgencyIgnition.com or just hook up with me on LinkedIn and uh, it'd be cool to catch up. So that said, take care, speak to you soon, go and make it happen. Discover how to build your recruitment employment agency using one to many automation and inbound strategies before anyone else in your market specialization. Check out RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com